don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description if you have seen the previous tutorial you probably thought that I actually forgot about managing nested inlines well I did and I completely apologize for that I, I just got sidetracked and we just completely skipped it although we did set something up so we'll be able to move forward from this point and in actual fact it works out really well because we can focus in individually on this very common problem managing nested inlines within our Django admin where we have a inline which is then referring to another inline so we have a one-to-many relationship in a table and then another table then extends with a one-to-many relationship with the other table right so in this tutorial we're going to take the easy option which is to utilize the package Django nested admin that should make it really easy for us to create an environment where we have nested inlines so if you haven't seen the previous tutorial this is the setup now we have a product table and what we want to achieve is to insert the product in the Django admin at the same time we want to be able to connect all the product lines connected to that product in the same admin view and be able to add additional product lines again all from that one single admin view when we add a new product using an inline was really simple because we had a one-to-many relationship from product to product line and of course the product line table was at the end of the relationship the uh, fork here identifying the many side as a relationship so that was easily to achieve now what we want to do is when we edit a product line within the product admin view we also want to be able to select the product images so we're going to need to create another inline from the product line to the product image now by default Django will not provide that feature for us we did set up two inlines and we actually have set the code so that in the product line inline we did set an inline to the product image but that didn't work and we did actually see it in the previous tutorial but I didn't mention it so let's see if we can wrap this all together with the package I mentioned previously to see if we can easily incorporate this nested inline so that when we go to the product we'll be able to enter the product line and the product image related to the product lines back in the code in the inventory app let's have a look at the admin you can see that we set this up previously so we have the product admin you can see that specifies the product line inline so this is the product line inline right here and you can see that what we tried to do was to nest an inline in an inline so this was an inline pointing towards the product image inline so we wanted to add that data into the product line so that when we create a new product like I said we'll be able to create the product line and at the same time add the images to the product line just to show you that it's not working this is a product let's go to product go to a product go to a product do that again so this is product boot one you can see that we have the product information a bit further down here we have the product lines so we did set up two product lines but what we're not looking at or what we're not seeing is that nested inline so let's see if we can install the package and see if this will work straight from the installation with a, a small amount of changes to our code while implementing features without relying on third-party packages may seem appealing in some cases there are also valid reasons why you might choose to use existing packages rather than building everything from scratch one of the major contributing factors to deciding whether to use a third party package is does it get updated regularly now you can see that this package was last released 2022 which was two years ago now so you start to ask questions is this package being updated now some packages are really simple so they don't necessarily need much support what might help you decide upon that if you're concerned about the support for the package is just to go to the home page which normally takes you to github and you can start to see when things were updated you can have a look at the uh, issues 
this should give you a general idea this is two weeks ago looks like there is potentially a bug here that's found and that was two weeks ago and this ne hasn't necessarily been updated for two years so you start to question is this the best choice in the long term now in the short term it might make perfect sense to utilize that and then establish your application then maybe later in the development life cycle you might then start to transition to your own code that of course has benefits and drawbacks because the later you leave it potentially the harder it might be for you to then create your own code and integrate it into your application development is just full of many contributing factors we're going to take a look at this package though and give it a go see if it works for us so let's go ahead and pip install Django nested admin right so it should take a couple of seconds and then I think we're just going to need to make a, a few changes to our code so we're going to need to import Django nested admin I'm not too sure why that's not running that seemed to get a little bit stuck but it did eventually start Right, so with that in place, let's go ahead and first of all, import it into the admin site. No, I think in actual fact, we're going to need to go to settings and just add it into the installed apps. So we're going to need to add that. That is nested, uh, nested underscore admin. Now we can go ahead in the admin and import nested, nested admin, and then we can now change the stacked inlines to the nested stack inlines. So we just need to make a change here. So this is a this is a nested admin uh, dot nested stack inline. Okay, right. So we do the same thing for the product line inline. We will need to also update the product admin here. So instead of using the product uh, the model admin, we're going to need to import the nested admin, uh, nested admin, nested model admin. Right, so those are the three changes that we're going to need to make. Let's go ahead now and run the server. See if we can give that a go. It says no module name PKG resources. So let's just follow this thread. Let's go ahead and oh, won't do that. Let's follow this thread. Let's go ahead and close that. Pip install pkg resources. Okay, could not find that version that satisfies the requirements. Okay. So let's try a different way. Let's go for pip install, upgrade, setup tools. Okie dokie, so let's give that a go. So this time it looks like everything was fine. Okay, so there's two solutions there that you might try to get and resolve that problem. Now, I don't know the exact reason for that, other than suggesting that the model, uh, that the tools were not available or potentially because we were using a virtual environment, the tools weren't available. So running the upgrade setup tools just puts in place all the tools that are needed to run that package. So let's go back into products now. Give us a go. So in products, we have the product inlines and then hopefully we can start to see at the bottom. No, yeah, there's product images. Here we go. So we can now see the uh, nested inline product images. So these images relate to this product line. Now, what we want to do here is just double check this in the database to see if this works correctly, because we want to make sure that everything is correctly associated. So here we have boot one. Now, in my browser, what well, at the top here actually indicates the product ID. Uh, it's quite small maybe on your screen but in the url it says inventory slash product slash one so that indicates that this product is id number one so let's just remember that this is product id number one okay so we have a product in line here this looks like it's product in line number one there's a product object one so we can say that this is product in line one okay and now let's go ahead and add 
a new image. So alternative text, that's mandatory. Just add something random there. Let's choose a file. Now I don't have any images on my computer, so I've just downloaded a random image. So I choose file, go to downloads, and I select the image, upload. Okay, so I now have an image attached and the order, I just place that number one. And then I'll go ahead and press save. So this is the moment of truth. You can see it's quite uh, congested at the bottom here, having all these different inlines. You might want to add some JavaScript to add some drop down so you can uh, press and close and open up the different sections here in the inlines. So let's go ahead and press save. See if that works. Looks like it's okay. So a moment of truth. Let's take a look. So we have the product one, the product one product line. And then underneath that, it looks like it has now saved the image. I always like to inspect the database where I can. So I right click open the database. Don't forget you will need the SQLite extension installed. So we should have now a product. Let's have a look at the product table. So we have product ID number one, that's the boot one. That's all good. So there should be a, there should be a foreign key in the product line table. So let's have a look. So this is the product line table. Now remember that this is the first product line and you can see here it has the foreign key to the first product. So it does look like we have successfully connected it or that's the data I would expect to see within this table. So this product line is connected to product ID one, which was the boot one. So that's, that's all good. So let's have a look at the product image. So you can see the image we've just created there is a foreign key, sorry, in the table, product line ID, and you can see that then is connected to the product line one. So all the data is, has been inserted as expected. And there we go, a simple example of creating a nested inline utilizing the Django nested admin package. And there we go, that was a simple example using the Django nested admin package to create nested inlines within our Django admin environment.